In this video, I'm gonna show you how to animate a logo in one hour. I did this as part of a social media UI promo, which I'll discuss in my next tutorial, but here we're just gonna focus on the logo. We'll look at the end result and what the client thought shortly. But first, why one hour? Hi, I'm Adam Minute. this is the video shot. I know, an hour is a totally arbitrary time limit, but the point is animating under time pressure. I talk more about that in my video, a timed animation every day for a month. Whereas it's a 15 minute animation every, well, you can guess the frequency. For this promo, the client didn't have a logo animation, so I thought I'd do one for them because I'm nice that way. Actually, that's a good tip generally. Always try to give the client more than they ask for. Over deliver if you can. But there wasn't much time as I had all this other stuff to do, hence it took me an hour. This is actually the sort of work that I find most of my students ask for help with. Not the big creative projects. They're far more creative than me anyway, so they're fine there. It's more the last minute projects where there's time pressure and they just need to be quick and efficient. As always, you can find the full workflow videos for this on my video shop long play channel. And there's the free project if you want it, links below. Okay, let's get started. So I Googled logo. I know what a logo is. I just wanted to see what the most common types are. Unsurprisingly, the first results are famous logos. For the purposes of this tutorial, we can discount those. If any of these companies ask for a logo animation for one eighth of your day rate, you should definitely hold out for more wedge. These are the kind of logos that I'm thinking about for this video. A main logo element with some text or a generic looking logo shape without any text. I sometimes do a timed exercise with my students where they have to animate a logo in one hour. After they're completely freaked out, I tell them to budget their time. Something like this. 10 minutes to sketch ideas, 30 minutes to animate the main logo shape. If there's text, another 10 minutes to animate the text and then 10 minutes of finessing. If you wanted to do a similar exercise, that could be a good timing guide for you to use. I took inspiration from the logo. It's pretty distinctive and I immediately saw potential for breaking it apart and using these elements somehow. One thing was these shapes. I thought of a showreel that I'd recently seen and how they used brackets to move elements around. This ended up being a motif throughout the animation. Also, there's a part in the promo with app icons and one of them plugging into place. So I wanted to allude to that with the logo as well. That's really it for the ideas part. The benefit of only having an hour is you don't have time to overthink things. Not that I'm guilty of that anyway. Back to the logo shape. It's a bit tricky because of these curves, but I cheated this effect by animating line shapes, then adding a simple choker. The end result isn't a pixel perfect version of the logo, but we'll keep that between you and me. I'm not totally cavalier. If the client had flagged it, I could have morphed into the actual logo at the end of the animation. I don't want anyone watching this to think I don't give a shit. Don't you even care? Okay, one way of doing it is to take the pre-comp of the logo shape, then go layer, auto trace, and that'll trace over the alpha, and that'll give you mask shapes on a new solid that you can tweak and match to the logo. There, I do care. I mean, I didn't do it before because I didn't have time. So we have this curved square shape which alludes to the app icons, then it resolves into the main logo. I switch between the square and the logo shape here. The reason for that is because it's easier to animate a live shape plane's roundness and scale for the curved box. Then when the shape becomes this inverted box, it's easier to work with just a path shape. Quick tip, you probably already know this, but I had to pull the bezier handles right in to get this shape. If you find yourself getting things like this when you're animating paths, I set in the line join to bevel. There's an expression on the stroke width, which means I can scale the layer and the stroke size remains the same. It's really handy and I used it a lot with this animation, but I talk about that in a separate video, so I won't wang on about it here. Anyway, when we go from this shape layer to this, there's a slight glitch, but we're not going to notice it because, well, you might have noticed that the whole animation is a tad slow. This is how I work sometimes. I'll animate everything in a linear way, i.e. no easing on anything and all the timings linear, then pre-comp the whole animation and do the easing with time remapping keyframes. I did a whole tutorial on this method, so do watch that if you want to know more. Lastly, I've got these bracket shapes which work as secondary animation. Obviously, since they're all the same shape and same timing, you don't want to keyframe every single one. Just animate one until you're happy with it and duplicate three times and distribute them around the logo. So the main logo is animated. That was the main priority. I thought even if it takes me longer than I'd like to animate the main logo shape, that's the most interesting, important part, which links visually to aspects of the video generally. So worst case scenario, 
I could have had the letters just appear one by one. It wouldn't have been the end of the world. And in terms of the animation vocabulary, I've done something similar here, so it would have been fine. I wasn't supplied the typeface they used for the logo, so I had to animate the letters using shape layers. Well, I could have looked up the typeface, but I didn't. If you've got a logo where you can use live text, I definitely think about using text animators for the type. Some people aren't that familiar with them, and with one hour you don't have time to learn on the job. But I'm a big fan of text animators, so I've done a few tutorials on them. But this shows you how quick text animators can be. I've done this in real time while I've been talking, and it's taken me, hold on, 30 seconds. So that's a live text layer, obviously, but compare that to this, which is the sped up process of me animating individual mass solids. It would take the same amount of time with shape layers, by the way. But I still often see other designers animating this way when they don't have to, simply because they don't know text animators that well. And this took me seven minutes and 15 seconds. So here's the final animation. I ended up doing two variations, one for the start where nothing was on screen and another for the end where I needed the cortex letters to be already there. Another quick note about tone of voice. This is obviously quite a fun, playful, bouncy animation style. The shape of the logo lends itself to that, but it may not be the right tone of voice for whatever company you're working with. You should always check first, either by researching other animations the client has put out or just by asking the client. Anyway, the client was happy with this, which I'm putting down to this being a rush project more than anything. So that's it. How to animate a logo in one hour, if you have to. Let's put an asterisk there. Ideally you'd want longer, obviously, but knowing that you can do one in an hour can be reassuring, I think. I'll talk about the creation of the rest of this promo in my next tutorial, but I hope this video is helpful for those of you who are beginners and or want to work quicker. And hopefully now you're looking at these examples that we glanced at towards the beginning of this video and you're more confident that you can animate these in an hour. Remember, we're talking about bespoke logo animations, not procedural. We're not just dropping a logo into a pre-comp and hitting export. The client will get something that is created just for them. Not that there's anything wrong with procedural solutions, obviously. I love them. It's just that you may be in a position where the client wants to see that you put specific thought into their animation. That involves creative thinking as well as technique. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you again soon.